Okay guys, I think I did a video on uh, loading a scene. Uh, well, I know I included it inside a video, but I don't know if that was a video. Or I don't know if that was a topic on the video. But anyway, it now says that's obsolete, and it may have said that before, but I just noticed it. So I'm going to show you how to use scene manager.load scene instead. And there's some extra steps to it, and I don't understand why. But this was the script we did it under, and we used application.load level. And like I just said, that's obsolete. So um, it's just a simple change, I guess. We now have to include another using, I guess it's called a tag. I don't know. Unity engine dot scene management. Which is stupid you have to include that. Because I think that's pretty important. I don't I don't know why. Then you type scene manager dot load scene. And if you uh, you can include an int here, which is what we did before, which would be one. And that'll work. But if you look in Unity's example online, there you can include a scene name, scene build index, which is what we just included. If you don't know what the scene build index is, that's when you go here to build build settings. And all these scenes included here, this is the index number at the end. And one was the scene we created for an example. I don't know what the scene name is actually. I'm Maybe uh, maybe it's optional and then like, maybe you can type in boring scene like what we wrote here. I'm assuming that's what that is. I'm not going to try because I don't really care. You just need the number. That's all that's important. And now if we test it, we press play and we press F2, it still loads our scene. And again, we didn't set anything in the scene, so uh, the cursor stuck. There we go. But yeah, I don't know why that's obsolete, but hey, why not make it more complicated? See you guys in the next video.